She's not messing about, is she? No. Father, are you okay? Focus on the enemy, not me. Yes, sir. That was good. We can free you. I think she's free enough, lad. Poison, don't touch it. Violation imaginable. No! You do not want this. Hold your mind. Control it. She was our friend. Maybe for the moment you are of more use to me alive. <clears throat> this home. Home? Really? You will tell the truth when I return. Well, I must set things right. <clears throat> We'll take him. Oh, your majesty. A pleasure to see you again. Bronifer. Do not let him out of your sight. You heard him, sunshine. Come on, get a move on. What is it you want? I refuse to remain bound to this realm. We travel to Vanaheim. Well, guess it's just us then. <sighs> I 
one gateway to Vanaheim coming right up. If you are still bound, how will you travel? I crafted a protection ward that'll keep me from being pulled up the realm. It should hold until I find what I need. And what is that? The source of the magic that binds me to Midgard. We're going to find it and destroy it. I will help you, but it will not change what I have done. I know. That's why I still might kill you when this is over. Going or what? <laughs> going nowhere without this. Where would you monk spouts even be without me? And what is it you expect to meet Kratos for, Highness? Clearly, you've been quite capable of breaking Odin's curses on your own. The other curses grew weak from Thimble Winter, but I still needed help to break them. This one is held strong. So all that trying to kill him, that's just your goddessy way of asking for help? I don't recall asking you to come along. Because you didn't. I got an old drinking buddy I've been meaning to look up once this joint were back on the map. Got a hunch lending you mokes a hand's gonna end me up where I'm going. And what makes you think that? Cause last I heard tell, she was running with that beef wet brother of yours. Freyr... ...is not a part of this. Well, my hunch says otherwise. Scroat, too. I can feel the pool of the Binding Curse. Its source is further in. Follow me. Muggier than a Mootwalheim shit pit out here. And nearly as fragrant. Suppose Thimblewinter's to blame. But if it helps these two fight yeah. peace... This is a temporary alliance, Manus. Yeah. Anything beyond that would require trust. Oh, please. You know damn well Kratos isn't the true cause of your suffering. You're both as much a part of my suffering as anyone. What runs with no. your legs? Easy, a nose. You'll have to try no. harder than that, bro. No. Come on, let's find a way forward. No. Something's wrong. My spell, I can feel it slipping. Well, that's Pimple Winter for you. You don't understand. I'll be torn from the realm. What can be done? Something I was hoping to avoid. Seems I don't have much choice. Falky! <sighs> Come on, then. You had a way around Odin's curse this whole time. No. I discovered it once you unlocked realm travel. And it solves very little. This form is extremely limiting. That's Thimble Winter for you. Do not. Fuckle. Watch where you're going. The plants are extra aggressive in this humidity. Hmm. 
I recognize this market. Villages would meet and trade here. Why they never rebuilt? Brother, do you really think she'll let us off the hook if you help her? I do not know. I choose to help. After that, we will see. Aye. Looks like they sure left behind a lot of goodies. Shame to let them collect dust. That's one way of looking at it. Where has everyone gone, I wonder? They must have withdrawn, hidden themselves out in the wilds, and covered their tracks with magic. No way of knowing how many are left or how to reach them. Aesir ran cockshot all over this place, huh? You can thank Mimir for that. War with the Vanir was never my idea. My idea was brokering the marriage to end it. A great success that was. Obviously, the peace was no less a disaster than the marriage. Did he invade again as soon as I was exiled? Shame. Bet this here would have made for a prime shop location. Dwarves in Vanaheim? That would be something to see. Refuse to pick a favorite poem. That's uncharacteristically indecisive of I have a favorite poem already. One from my homeland.
stirring up an awful scene. Why do you keep bringing him up? My brother is no concern of yours. Do you understand? Oh, I understand plenty. <laughs> hey! The plant life grows more dangerous the further we go. Hope you're up for it. Today. Listen. I know how bad it can get with one zone you can. Sindri and I were on the out so long, it was like not having a brother at all. Now, nah, I take some of the fall for that on account of you walking out. But it never stopped me blaming him most. Any of this sound familiar so far? And what is your point? My point is, that weren't the end all of things after all. Once we got our heads right, it was like <laughs> no time. He went straight back to being as big a pain in my ass as he ever was. That's family. You gotta keep them close, or they make you good and crazy. Why do you think I need to hear any of this right now? My focus is on regaining my freedom, and I have no intention of being distracted. Look, all I'm saying is, if you happen to find yourself talking to your brother, maybe the worst words said between you don't have to be the last one to say. Enough! When the day comes to face Freya again, it will be when I am standing on my feet and free. Do you understand me? It will not be while I'm stuck in this preposterous situation. Got a case of pride, I get it. Hope yours clears up quicker than mine did. A touching story, that was. Bite me. You wish. What did Odin do to drive everyone away? What weapons did he make the dwarves build him? How much was just Mjolnir? Can one man do this much damage? It depends on the weapon and the man. What'd you find? Sounds shiny. <laughs> this river. It used to be filled with boats of people visiting from different villages. I've never seen it so empty. What is this? Not now, brother. We've got company. One of them hairy ass bastards! Die on. 
Not now, brother. We got company. One of them hairy ass bastards! <laughs> hey! Call an old pecker grip! You can't do anything with that yet, it seems. Then you want to keep your insides inside. Yeah. All yours, big guy. Yeah. Your people not receiving visitors? I wouldn't know. They're not my people anymore. Give me a boost. <gasps> <clears throat> you don't go telling no one about that. Come on up. Bet you're glad old rocks around to save you. Uh oh. Shit! We should probably go get him. Keep your guard up. Send another god to do his dirty work. Thought you busy. We do not serve Odin. <laughs> no? Picked a dangerous place for sightseeing then. All right. No, no. No need for threats, brother. I know that voice. <laughs> mm. 
You know, I'd cut off your head, but it seems somebody beat me to it. Aye, oh, quite observant, brother. Oh, no, you're no brother of mine. He sold my sister to that prick. We broke it a piece. Oh, did you now? Where is it? Hmm? And where is my sister? Some dungeon in Asgard? Is she even alive? Answer me. Settle for blood. Stop! What is that? Why do you speak in her voice? It's me, Ingvi. There's no time to explain, just listen. These men are in my service. I'm here to reclaim what's been taken from me. It's too late. You can't undo what's been done. I can. I will. Now let them pass. So, you serve my sister. Put him down. What's with leaving me hanging like that, you crusty hag? Oh, can it, Blubber? Come here. Well, found who I was looking for. Think I'm gonna stay and catch up. Oh, are you now? Do as you wish. Brother, if you wouldn't mind, I'd have a word with Lord Freya. Uh, Rock, what do you think you're doing just setting up shop at my fort? Just because I hugged you don't mean I ain't still sore at you, squabbling sandpiper. We fixed it so you can come and go between the realms whenever you please. You're very welcome. God. This here's my family, and I mean much to you, but means plenty to me. It does too mean something to me. Otherwise, I wouldn't have made up with my Thunderhead brother. Five million moonbeams! I didn't realize the Hulk brothers were back in business. We're even cohabitating like a proper family. So don't tell me! Oh, okay, well, well, then you can help me at the forge while you spill everything. Now, Brock, ain't you gonna introduce me to this tall glass of milk you got for a bodyguard? Of course I was gonna. That's Kratos. Though you can call him whatever pops into your head. Kratos, Lunda. We go back. Well, I guess that's better than nothing. Let's do it. Keep your bits in all the right places. A good fit.
that good or what? Very good. You make up your mind. Take your crap. Hand it over already. Yeah, yeah, I'll take it. That ought to last you a little while. Very good.